Good morning, everyone. Good morning. We miss you guys for、mm-hmm. a week. We have been super busy. As you guys know, we are doing the live shows every single day, talking about the products. We have been doing four shows every single day right now. Hey, Ellis, today we're doing five. Today to five with this Facebook. Okay, normally we do eleven, twelve Eastern time, two and three. But today we have a ten o'clock with your guys. Ah,、uh, super super busy. I believe in ah、uh, ah、uh, you know talk to your guys. Ah,、uh, uh, share our knowledge with you and、uh, share with your guys how we put the light bulbs together. What's the different source of the lights and this and that. Blah 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 blah. I just love it. Okay. So that being said, ah,、uh, we want to go through a few questions here. Ah,、uh, ah.、Uh, Uh, make sure when we are doing this, you can also send in new questions. Okay, sometimes I miss couple here and there. For instance,、uh, last week,、uh, hold on a second, Leslie. He's going off script. Okay, remember somebody asking a. Uh, 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 Let's go that way. Okay.、Yep. Okay. Sorry. Oh, blacklight was two weeks ago. Oh right. Yeah, we talked about that last week. We talked about that. Sorry about that. Okay. But that's、no. our blacklight. Sure. It's got、um, okay. It's coated. Excellent. Pretty cool. Excellent. Okay. So let's shoot the the、uh, the questions. <laughs> okay. So the first one is、um, why do some LEDs have a delay when turned on and others do not? Ours、okay. do not, by the way. Okay.、Uh, our ones do not. I tell you, delay or non-delay only has one factor in it. Is if you're using very good material. Good LEDs, good capacities, all the material capacitors, and all the materials you put together, able to take what we call the rush current. Okay, because every time when you turn the power on, has a rush current through this. If your design able to take the rush current, then you do not have delay. So rush current is kind of like when you strike a match, and you、right. know how it gets like super bright really fast、right. and then gets normal. That'd、right. be like a rush current in electrical, right? Right. Okay. If people want to using inferior material in it, that means in order to make the light bulb to last, they have to put we call soft start,、uh-huh. soft start, right? The soft start actually is a delay. That means they try to delay the the uh a rush current, uh rush through the light bulbs. So yes, okay, that's the difference. Okay, so today we do not using that because we learned from the past.、Mm-hmm. Okay, well、uh, we've never used that. Right,、before. and and people just、uh, you know go back to the incandescent days or halogen days.、Uh, there's no delay for those light bulbs. So we want to make sure whatever the latest technology you are offering to、uh, to people should have exactly same functionality. Okay, so very cool, very very cool. Next one, please. The next one is、yeah. explain the difference between a par versus lumen. Okay, now、uh, this is good question, but I think this question could be a little bit、uh, answer a little bit different here. Okay,、uh, let me show you. Okay, this is regular light bulbs as we talking about before. This is the par lamps. Okay, the regular light bulbs is general light bulbs with a three a nineteen with one hundred sixty degree all the way around it. So called A nineteen G G bulbs, uh, T bulbs, decals. This is par lamps. The par lamps has a lens on it, which means the par lens is a directional. It's a directional. Okay. So, so the A lamp is not directional is at all. It's an omnidirectional bulb because light comes out everywhere. Correct. But the par lamps are directional bulbs because this plastic housing, no light escapes. No light、it. escapes. Everything come out this way. Then we control the beam pattern. We call okay. When we control beam pattern, roughly around we do the front roughly around forty degree. Okay, narrow front twenty five degree, spot at fifteen degree. Okay. Okay, that's that. So obviously you have a par lamps has a par thirty eight, par thirty, par thirty short neck, par twenty. Also include MR sixteen. So because of that, we measure the par lamps a little bit different. Okay. Okay. We measure the par lamps, what we call center beam candle power, and you say, "What are you talking about here?" Let me show you how it's being lighted up. Okay, you need to kind of turn this one a little bit. Okay, I have a par lamps here now. Okay. Okay. Look at how. Yeah,、uh, they can see it. Okay. Okay, guys. Here, that means you see the the spot right in the you middle. You can see this. 
What? So your center beam candle power is actually measuring the light intensity, or lumens on the floor here, right, right Ellen? in the middle, right. Mm -hmm. Not by lumens, by intensity, intensity. of well, the it's, light. It's measuring what candle? Right. Okay, the intensity of the light, right in the middle. So this is totally two different measurements. So both bulbs have lumen output. Right. Exactly. It's just the intensity measurement of that. Right. So in parlance, you're measuring the intensity of the spot on the floor or the object or whatever you're looking at. Where these, you're measuring just general how much you're popping out. Correct. And in the meantime, uh, 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 Nikki has a few uh, pictures uh, where we try to share with you guys later, right? Nikki Yakuto posted, okay, which is we call how we measure the uh, lumens, mm. okay? Uh, it's a very nice pictures. We're using something called light sphere. Okay, it's a round little ones. Okay, it's a very cute pictures. Just show you something we do that every So that's every how we're measuring day. lumens. Measure and then lumens. when we do the um, the um, photometry data for the center beam candle power, don't we use right. the Ganeo? You need a Ganeo. Did we and, get pictures of the Ganeo? Uh, no, we're going to take a picture we of should. a Ganeo. The yes. Ganeo is really cool. Really cool, okay. And, and when we say Ganeo, we're not talking about appointments that ladies make. We're talking about the Ganeo photometer, right. which is a giant machine. So, giant Nikki, machine. we definitely need to post some pictures of that. Because so we're give fortunate you a as TCP to actually have that in our facility. Right. So, so one cool. is light sphere. Mm -hmm. One is measure the intensity of yep. the light. So we'll definitely okay. get some pictures yes. posted of that. Sounds good. So hopefully that answered your question. Okay. Um, so someone else asked, I'm confused about light bulbs and LED these days. Well, light bulbs are light bulbs are light bulbs, right, Ellis? And LED is just a lighting technology. So let's go back to this guy, because I think this guy explains it really, really well. Because it looks like what you would call a traditional light bulb, but it's an LED. Right. And the LEDs are placed on the filament strips. Because remember, incandescents also have an, a filament Correct. arranged in it. But these are LED, where the um, traditional stuff is tungsten. Correct. So what what happens is, I share with you guys, uh, on those strips inside these light bulbs, we actually put a 24 LED on uh, uh, each strips. Little and little that means, guys. right. So it's a mimic, I, I mean, it's a mimic. The, Mimics the traditional effect. Correct. But, Ellis, you also have your other guy, your right. SMD. That's SMD, guys, we're talking so about. So there's your LED chips. That's your LED chips. Okay? Those are LED chips, but those are fine little LED chips on each strip. But light bulbs, light bulbs. Light bulbs, in general terms, will make lights. Okay? So from 130 years ago, Thomas Edison started regular light bulb, exactly the same shape, with the tungsten alloy wires inside, which makes the lights, mm -hmm. okay? And then about uh, about 10, 15 years ago, okay? About 20 years ago, about, you guys did, right. well, back in the 40s, 50s, they first developed fluorescent in the tube technology. Right. And then, and then that moved into the si spiral CFLs, which I believe TCB commercialized, because right. we automated the tube bending process. And then we're coming back to LED. the regular LED bulbs, okay? So the, we come back to the traditional look, but this is, Hot LED. and a dark LED. That's the first generation. This is the second generation. So it's still a light bulb, but it's uh, powered up by LED chips. So I hope that helped to answer your question. Yes. Um, so someone else asked, what would a 100 watt bulb be equivalent to in LED? So I think they're looking for lumens. Okay. Actually, 100 watt, we only measure by the lumens. Mm -hmm. So 100 watt is 1,600 lumens. Mm -hmm. Now, just imagine that. The commonly used cost 60 watt equivalent is measured by 800 lumens. Okay. So 100 watt is 1,600 lumens. So, so let's not confuse them each other. So when 800 uh, watt light bulbs, by standard punch out of 1,600 lumens. So when we make into the LED 100 watt equivalent light bulbs, which means we have to put an LED together, powerful enough to punch out 1,600 lumens. Okay. I'm just maybe in the box over there. Right. So we had another question, which was a good one, and I wish we would have prepared and because I thought it was on the cart and it's not. But someone asked, what's the difference between a PAR-20 and an R-20? And uh -huh. that gets back into shape. 
Okay. And Nikki is feverishly dibbing, digging to see if she can find any BR okay. over in the pile of treasures that we have here in our war room. Okay. <laughs> now, remember, remember, pa. And we might not have one. Pa and the BR, they're both shapes. directional. Mm -hmm. okay? Directional shapes. They're both directional shapes. Nikki, yes. go. Try go to my the other, a, a yeah. small room over there. Either there or the mini war room. Right. Okay. Goose pa chase. and the BR are exactly the same thing. Okay. Similar. So, similar. Right. They have a similar look. The only difference is Pa has a lens on it. So it has a design optic so that you can Correct. get a beam pattern on it. Yes. Correct. The BR are not. It does not. This is awesome. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully it's the right. And it is the right light bulb inside. Right. So okay. these are two different. So this is a BR30 okay. and that's a uh, par 38 uh, uh, But let's it's just close start with enough. that. Okay, then look at that. This guy has a lens on it. This guy doesn't. This is called BR. This well, is Well, these a are both lenses. So this has a lens, but this no, lens isn't going to control your it's, it's a, we, spread, we, your we, beam pattern. Yeah, no, no, no. We, we call that as a diffuser. Yeah. It's just a simple diffuser. But this one is a beam pattern lens right in the middle. Because it has a specially designed optic. Right. And that's one thing that TCP is actually really, really good at and has historically ever since... 20, I don't know, 13, 2020, right. when we first launched Parlamps, was our ability to take a heat sink, a driver, a LED chip array, and an optic and combine that together to create the most powerful LEDs. So In fact, we've won awards on our Parlamps. Correct. And uh, most likely, the BR30 mm -hmm. people using in the home in the recess can. Yep. Okay. You don't see that often, the PAR lamps using at home, but the PAR lamps so commonly using in the retail store. Yep. Okay. If you go to the retail store, you see they have the truck lights on the, on, 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 in the ceiling and you have to see all those uh, PAR lamps shining down because the beam pattern able to focus on the objects. We're able to shine the objects perfectly. So okay? it kind of all gets back to that center Correct. beam candle power Correct. and it focuses the light on the object and puts the right amount of foot right. candles on it, that specific it, exactly. object. Exactly. Exactly. Where this guy is just great for general illumination. So if you have a five six recess down light can, yes. this is a good guy to put in. Because what is good about this guy is you see, remember, okay, this N nineteen bulb, okay, has a three hundred sixty degree. So in other words, if I put a, this guy into the recess can, there's just going to be light everywhere. The lights everywhere. That means 50% of the lights will be trapped inside the recess can. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's but why we do this. This guy, you put it in one that direction. can and it just goes whoosh right to the floor. One directional. Right. Okay. I have these in my basement. Great. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> the next one. Okay. Is, um, and uh, Nikki watching if any yeah, new, we can see new, too, new, uh, new, new 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 questions yeah. popping. Okay. So there's another thing um, that someone asked as well. Is there an easy way to retrofit old fluorescent tube lighting with newer LED lights? And I think we a talked tube? about this one time. Oh, you before. mean the LED? Uh, you LED mean the TA tubes? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's Why don't you start dancing with your tube? Okay. Here is what I do. I love this one. I love to dance with this guy. Oh shit! Okay, it's a small space here. Okay. Now, uh, 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 remember. Remember, uh, uh, TA tubes has uh, three different versions, okay? Has a uh, by diameter, by the size of the mm. diameter, okay? You have a T12, T8, T5. T12, like a big one. Remember, the 12 uh, is the size of the diameter, okay? Uh, all the TL, uh, T12 are uh, lit up by magnetic ballast, okay? And that's this an is old very, technology. very, very, very old. It's a 50 years old technology. And believe it or not, in our opinion, by the market research, there are still 15% of the loss of those T12 still available in the market today. Okay. But you can't find replacement ballast for Correct. them. Correct. You cannot play, uh, replace or tubes that. at this And point. we suggest people that the one product we make for Walmart, which is able to replace the T12. So go to the Walmart store. And obviously, on the commercial side, we have that one we too. We have it too. Okay. That's for the T12. T8. Which is this circumference. Okay, this guy is called a T8. T8 using electronic ballast. So if you have a T8, just shaped like this, called a T8, okay? All you have to do is get a what we call type A. Type A called plug in. That means you don't have to do anything. Take the T8 uh, fluorescent out, mm -hmm. stick this guy in. Done. You want that out. So it's a direct replacement. It's direct replacement. No rewiring, no funny business. Just pop it out, no pop fuss. it back in. That's it. 
Okay. Okay. That's the easiest way. Right. There's other T8 tubes out there, but those you could involve rewiring your fixture, rewiring your ballast. There's a lot of other things. So if you're a residential customer and you don't want to hire a certified electrician, we recommend finding an LED T8 Type A tube. Yes. From Absolutely. TCP. Very easy. Very, very. All you have to reach out to us, we'll tell you where to. We can help you where to find some. Right, where to find some. Yep. Sounds good. Next one. Oh, let's see. We went, I think. So someone asked, is it best to use different lights for inside and outside the home? Uh, not really. Uh, uh, inside, what well, we're talking about are colors. Remember, we're able to offer 18 different colors. Okay? No, nine colors. Uh, nine, 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 nine different colors. <laughs> Start with 18, 22, 24, 27, 3,000. 35, 41, 5, 000, 6, 500, nine colors, okay? Uh, and that's number one. Number two is, remember, for the indoor lighting, we have a variety of the things we do. Mm -hmm. For instance, you can see the, the all the A lamps, right? A15 uh, for the fangs, okay? Mm -hmm. And for the A19, A21, A23. You have a G's, you have a G16, G25, G40, and you have all the tubular ones, and you have all the decorative ones, and you have all the SG19. Different shape, different look. So if you're talking about indoor lighting, you really look at the color, yep. the shape, yep. okay, the different applications yep. because it has Remember to fit we it. Remember we talked about right? BRs, BRs and cars. And things like and outdoor, no, very, very simple. My outdoor wet is, location rated. Right. Outdoor is a post light, we mm -hmm. call. All you give the outdoor is a little bit light or look nice, and that's about it. Security lighting, too. Right. Okay. So, oh, well. my thing, my biggest recommendation in outdoor lighting is make sure that your whatever light bulb you choose for your post top is rated properly so that yes. way when you put it in there that it doesn't fail prematurely because maybe it's not rated right. for oh. um, fully enclosed rated. And then also wet location rated is a big thing. So if you're doing security lighting, maybe you've got those funny bug eyed looking things that use these guys in them with motion sensors. You wanna make sure your PAR lamp is wet location rated. Also, if you're doing like a landscape design where you've got that thing coming out right. of the ground, you wanna make sure what you put in there is wet location rated so, because the water and the rain and the snow and the, all that's right. gonna hit it. Also, the, the, the PAR lamps you're talking about here mm -hmm. because Leslie just uh, uh, mentioned one is like a garden light, yep. uh, garden light. One is like a security light, yep. right? That's why all TCP power lamps is uh, waterproofed. Number one, number two, TCP also have all the power lamps with the different colors. So in other words, our power lamps not able to shining down, also able to shining up. If you remember, maybe you have something in your garden, in your in, in your house in the garden, which means people shining the tree up. Mm. You're using different colors. So TCP has a pot lamps, has a different face, has a red, blue, green. So that could be fun for different holidays. Maybe you put Correct. red and blue out for Memorial right. Day that just happened or 4th of July that's coming up. Maybe you can get orange. I know we have orange available. That'd be fun for Halloween. Correct. Okay. So that's another fun yes. thing that you could do because I know a lot of people do the string lights, but this is another fun way to have a more traditional, um, I, I, I would just call it fancy. Right. The fancy the <laughs> light. Also, t TCP offering the power lamps. Now this is getting, getting, getting weird. Getting weird, okay. Also, TCP offering the power lamps has a motion sensors on it. There's a motion sensors on this lamp. So that big unit that you traditionally see outside of you maybe your it. back door, where it's got the two lamps and that thing in the middle, you wouldn't need that whole thing in the middle. You just need the lamp screwed in, and then right. it's already got the sensor. Because boom, boom, the, boom. Because the lamp has a sensor in it, able to sense the movement. Okay, so function exactly same those gigantic units. Everything is built into this lamp. I think I need that. Yes. That's a very unique so product. So that gets into last week's winner, or was it, I think it was two weeks ago's winner. They reached out to us because they'd received their product and they thanked us for it and they loved it so much. And the reason that they, they picked um, Wet Location A Lamps, and the reason that they picked that was because they wanted something that they could put outside, Ellis. Okay. Because if, um, in 2015, their house was actually broken into. So ever since then, they've wanted additional security lighting. So yes. that's why they wanted that. And they've installed our, uh, I think they picked A-lamps, yeah. our wet location A-lamps. Yeah. And they installed them in their house. So we hope that that helps keep your house energy efficient and safe. Sounds good. So okay. with that, let's pick our winner for this week. Excellent. Let me move over to our wheel of fortune. So here we go. Spin to win. This week's winner is... 
Regina Homer McDermott. So Regina, congratulations. You're our winner this week. Someone from our social media team will be reaching out asking you what you would like as your prize this week. So they're definitely going to help you out and pick some fantastic new lighting for your home. Yeah, in the meantime, we'll also post some uh, a picture how we measure the lights. Yep, okay? so our light spheres, yeah. our Ghanio photometer, it's really cool. So we hope everyone enjoys those pictures. And I think we should also post that fun video from last week that you did about our panels. Yes, absolutely. So we're going to post okay. that one too. That'll be really fun. He was okay. so busy doing his motorcycles that he didn't <laughs> have time to cook last week. Uh, so. Right, exactly. And uh, uh, and uh, it's called 99 Ways uh, uh, Alice is going to uh, deliver. Have, uh, 99 ways to deliver the TCP products. So, okay, but sounds good. Thank you, and please thank over you. the week submit questions. We appreciate you taking the time. Let's submit some more questions because we're going live again next week, 10 a.m. Thursday. See you next week. Bye, everyone. Bye now.